Lance here with Brando Consulting, inventory software expert since 2006. In this video, I'm going to respond to Odil Munoz Lopez, who asked about the product tree. He says, Lance, do you have a video about product tree? I'm trying to create one, and when asking the product tree, and when clicking the product tree button, it displays a new window, but it's empty. It doesn't show anything. Thanks for your comment, Odile. And this video is for you. So first of all, the product tree is found under materials on the product screen. And right here, it looks like a little genealogical chart almost up in the top left hand corner. Click on that. And just like Odile said, it is blank for the most part. Now, a little bit about this product tree. You could also call it pricing category or a way to categorize your products. Or um, you could also call it a hierarchy. So you can develop a hierarchy with your products. And then in another place in Fishbowl, under the report screen, you see there's reports that say such and such by product tree, such and such by product tree. So there are reports that use this product tree. And also under the pricing rules screen, when creating a new pricing rule, you'll see here it says product tree. So you can create a pricing rule for a product tree. So back to the product tree and this blank screen here. This is the only thing you'll find is the product folder. Click the little green plus sign on the bottom left hand corner and then type the name of a category of one of your products. This company I have up is a pool cover manufacturer. I got this from the QuickBooks Advanced Inventory sample file. In that file, I can think of maybe about three different kinds of categories. The pool covers, the pumps, and the different parts like anchors and springs and uh, small, small items, small parts. So we're going to make three different categories. I'll say covers, click, click the green plus sign, say parts, click the green plus sign, and we'll say pumps. So now we've got three different categories. The next thing we need to do is dump parts into there. So I'll highlight the category I want to put parts in, or products, right? We're talking about products, excuse me. I'll go over here to the product description, and I'll type in cover. And it gives me all the parts that have the word cover in the description. So I take a quick gander, and I can hold down shift and mass select, and then click this arrow right here. And whoop, there we go. Now we've got parts in that category. It's pretty simple if you've got good keywords in your description. I always recommend in your descriptions to have full spelled out keywords in the description. Don't use abbreviations in your descriptions. This next one is uh, going to be kind of hard. This is the pumps. So I'm not really, sh or, or excuse me, the parts. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that. Let me do the pump since that might be easy. I'll just type in the word pump. Swing pull pump, custom pull pump, custom all these different pumps. Rule pump. Okay, this these ones though, be careful. This is the base plate for the pump and the house clamps for the pump and the keyhole for the pump. So I'll mass select these, highlight pumps, and dump them into pumps. Now for everything else, when I've got these fields blank right here, I can click search and it'll give me my full list of parts. And then you can start to go through and maybe sort by the product description by clicking on the header. Or if I click on this header, it'll sort by the product description. Also, if I click advanced search, I can find other ways to search out the parts that could be useful. I don't know, might be. There's custom field search, so you might have something there to help you narrow down the parts or products to put in this product tree. And now we've got, yeah, anchor base, anchor base plates, and I can just start going through and picking and choosing. Now I can also use the control key, insulation, leading edge clear, painting service, there's some things here, there's an anchor, 
I can hold down um, shift to mass select, but then I can also hold down, uh, let me find one, there we go, hold down the control key to select like that, highlight that there, you've got to have that highlighted in order to put them into the right folder, and there you go. That that basically gives you the concept of how to do it. So you can go from there. Uh, you can also use the product tree import if you want to give that a try instead. Let me show you that. So file import. I'll just type in tree and we've got the product tree and the product tree categories. So the product tree categories helps you create categories, which I don't know if you really need that, but the product tree helps you put part numbers in the product if you'd prefer to work in a spreadsheet. Thanks for your question, Odile. And uh, anyone else has any recommendations, please recommend below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.